stars that shine in Darkness goes so bright You once told me I'd have to dim my light My mystic being Held by gravity I almost let you hold me What's up? What's going on? Out here at Strongsville Mall in my hometown. Now I just made it home last night. So I got a lot of ripping and running to do today. First stop was to get the haircut. So fresh, so clean. I hate wearing a hat after I get a fresh haircut like that. So I am a hat fanatic. Second stop was to um, head over to the clinic and load up on my medicine you guys know that I am uh, a type 2 diabetic now so I gotta start controlling what I eat controlling what I do and lose a little bit more weight I'm working on it it's a lot of things that you guys got to do for your health man and it's a it, it was a wake-up call it really was it, it really is you know being a type 2 diabetic, you got to watch your blood pressure now that the, that the blood pressure can elevate a little bit. It's a lot to take in, you know, being a truck driver and all. It's, it's a lot to take in. Third stop is right here at Strongsville Mall. And of course, while I'm here at Strongsville Mall, I had made a stop in the Pandora store right quick. You know, got a little something, you know, got a little something for Christmas. And then I'm about to head over here to the leaves. They got the city hat that I'm about to go and pick up right quick. So let me run in here, pick up that hat, and then run back out and uh, grab something for the boy. Stars that shine in Darkness goes so bright You once told me I'd have to dim my light My mystic being Held by gravity Now see, with all the With all the hats The new City Series hats that's out They got a Minnesota Timberwolves which is mean this Cleveland joint though, right here, I'm not feeling that. Look at that, two tone, two tone with the with the alternate with the alternate logo. I gotta get that, man. What you guys think of this tweed hat right here? It's got the butter right there, the got the butter brim right there. It's kind of different, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of. I got a lot of calves hats. I like this one better than the black one. Yeah. I like, you know, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get something different. I already got like a lot of, a lot of, a lot of Cavaliers joints though. Is 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 mean. Who are they playing on Christmas? They're playing about uh, thirty-two bucks. That took an extra ten bucks off. These city series are gonna sell out. Pretty that one. is it for me today. Now, what I got to do, I got to call my son right quick and ask him what 
you know, get a get a ballpark on what he wants. See, my son, he's not he's not into Christmas like he used to be. You know, he's more of a he's more of a computer geek now. So we so I I don't know I don't I don't know what to get. What you guys think of this? Uh, what you guys think of that right there? That Michael Jackson joint. I like that. I like that. Rest in peace, King of Pop. They got a, oh, they got a, they got the, they got the gangster joint right there too. I, I like that. I like that right there. That's nice also. That's nice also. Oh, number seventeen, number seventeen, Anderson Vares, y'all. He's not with the, he's not with us no more. He's not with us no more. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, they got, they, they got, look at that. Look at that right there, man. That is nice. How much is that? 69. 69? That is, that is nice. I like that. Thank you. I like that. That's the, the Godfather and and Al Pacino in them. That's, that's nice. I think I gotta, I gotta go to Planet Fitness, y'all. I gotta get, I gotta get my weight in check. I got to get my uh, blood sugar back down. I got to get my blood pressure back down. It's a lot of stuff that's going on with me, man. I am 48 years old, and I am trying to be here for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of this stuff, I got to get in check. I, I really, I thought I was doing good, but, you know, as you get older and your body changes, you, you got to change, you got to change Woody. You know, you got to change Woody. You got to adapt. And... And being the truck driver, being the truck driver, is, it really is hard to adapt out here. Over here at Dick's Sporting Goods, got to get me a new pair of shoes. All right, so far, so far, two out of two out of four so far. I'm liking these black aces right here. I mean, can you see right there? I'm liking these black aces, and um, I'm liking these Brooks GTS 16. So I'm liking these two. I'm gonna leave from here, and then I'm heading over to Planet Fitness and grab me the black card because, like I said, next year, right now, it's on. It's on. I'm rocking. I'm rocking. Gotta, gotta get, gotta get back in shape. Here in Strongsville, Ohio. Got my hat, got me a pair of shoes, got something special for the missus. I have to go over to Planet Fitness and start my membership there. Now, being that there's a Planet Fitness all over, I'm about to get the black card because there's a Planet Fitness all over. Where I'm rolling or something like that, you know, if I'm at a truck stop, I can figure out where's the Planet Fitness at in conjunction to that. Go over there, get my mouths in, and Hop right back in the truck and finish off the night. We're going to do that. We're going to do it just like that. Well, how about that? Very, very productive day to day. I mean, very productive. Very, very productive day to day. Man, this is a very good day. Look, truck drivers. I'm about to tell y'all something, all right? I I'm, about I'm about to get serious with you for a minute. About to get serious. We about to, we about to get serious. Here's how to really right cash quick. in on this year. Number one, get serious. Life is serious. I didn't think that I had any health issues. I, I really didn't. I, I took and I went and have a physical every year, and every year. I have a good, you know, a good physical every year. I got into truck driving three years ago. Three years ago this month. I looked at I looked at some of the some of the truck drivers that's already out here. 
Now you guys, you guys is not in the best shape, man. You guys is not in the best shape. I really don't know how is it possible for you guys to still be driving considering the shape that you that you guys are in. And I always thought of I thought that to myself before I even got in the truck driving. You know, I always thought to myself, like, man, look at these guys. These is whoo. Man, some beefy dudes out here. I didn't think that was going to happen to me. It hasn't happened. You know what I'm saying? Actually, when I got out here, I lost weight. But see, there's a balance that you got to do. If you're not doing the workout, then you got to cut back on the eat. The more you stuff your face, the bigger you're going to get. And the lazier you're going to get. You guys, you guys is not in the best shape, man. And I, and I... And I said to myself that when I got into truck driving, I said, I said, I said that I wasn't gonna be that dude. You see what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, I'm holding at a good 250 right now. I was when I first started. I was like two, at about 266, 269. But I'm down to 250, so I lost weight after going to taking the first physical. Uh, DOT physical with uh, with my company phys I mean with my with my company clinic to come to find out that I I'm at risk of high glucose level going to get a physical from my doctor that you know solidified the fact that I'm a type 2 diabetic and I said to my doctor, I'm going like, I'm not a diabetic, though. I mean, but it's, it was a lot of sugars and a lot of stuff that I did wrong while I was out on the road. It's like you're substituting one thing for another. And you got to break that habit. And that's what he told me. I got to kill all the sugars. I got to eat in moderation. And I got to bring my glucose levels down and keep it down. In order to in order to continue to drive a truck, you gotta be under 200 for your glucose levels. Now, I found out that I'm at risk of having high blood pressure. I'm getting old, guys. I'm, I'm getting old. You know what I'm saying? And the older I get, the, the, the body changes. You know, and, and you got to adapt to the way your body changes. When your body talks to you, you got to listen to it. I don't, I, I don't want to have a heart attack. I don't want to have a stroke. I know what I know what a stroke looks like. I know, I know what a heart attack looks like. My mom had a stroke. She didn't have a heart attack, but she had a stroke. So she had to change her way of uh, eating and, and, and living. You see what I'm saying? So she started working out. She started going to the gym every day. You know, started eating less. You know, you know, changing the diet. So that's what I got to do. I got to change the diet. I want to continue driving. Drive, my health is part of my livelihood and I don't want to lose that. So if you guys, listen, really, if, if you feel that you have some concerns about your health, Get started now, right now. Do like I did. I I went to Planet Fitness and signed right up. There's a lot of them out. If you get the black card, you can work out at any Planet Fitness there is, and there's one in every city that you go that you drive. Thirty minutes. That's all it's gonna take. And they're open 24 hours. I know. I know. I said it before. And I'm, I'm back at it. I'm back at it. I'm committed to fitness. I've been committed to fitness. I just, I slacked off and look what happened. Now, now I got to control my blood pressure and I got to control my, uh, my glucose levels. Look what happened. And when the doctor, and when the doctor tells you that, tells you to control something, you gotta control. When it, when it starts to affect your livelihood, start to affect that good thousand dollar a week paycheck, you're gonna make some changes. 
quick. You're gonna have to. You got a year to do it before you take your before you go to do your DOT exam. So when your body's talking to you, you gotta listen. Listen to your body. And you got to get back. You got to get committed. If I'm going to get committed, if I'm going to do it now, and it's just not because of a, a New Year's resolution, because every heavy set person makes that New Year's resolution and then work out for a month and then that's it. Look, this is $21.20. This is $22 a month. This is a gym membership. $22 a month, that's. What five months? That's two, two, four, six, two, two, four, six, eight, ten. That's a hundred dollars. That's like what two? About two, three hundred dollars. My mind is turned off, so I can't calculate worth of shit. Two, three hundred dollars a year. You don't want to waste that. I don't want to waste no two, three hundred dollars a year. I don't want to waste that. So yeah, I am going to take advantage of it. Whenever I can. You see what I'm saying? 24 hours a day they're open. They're open 24 hours a day, 24-7. What you do, this is what you do, because we're on E-Laws. We're we're on ELD. And you got you this is where trip planning comes into play. Alright? Trip planning comes into play. What I'm gonna have to start doing before. I shut down or even if I'm at a shipper or a receiver I am going to find out where the nearest Planet Fitness is I want to find out where the nearest Planet Fitness is so that I can shut down near there if I can pull up in the in a in a in in a mall parking lot or if I can find the closest truck stop and take an uber over there it's going to be done it has to be done 30 minutes is all it takes a day you don't need you don't need to go in there and spend hours on hours on hours we're normal folks we're not we're not bodybuilders out here we're, we're normal folks so 30 minutes 30 minutes of cardio 30 minutes of cardio is all you need. I did it. I done it. It has been. It, I done it. I'm going to have to do it again. going to have to do it again. It's going to have to be done. My livelihood is at stake. It's going to be done. Your livelihoods is at stake. Come on, guys. It's way too many of us out here that's not eating healthy. That's not, that's not moving. I see a lot of truck drivers out here just sitting in the um, sitting in the driver's lounge, stuffing their faces with unhealthy food. The food that we eating at the truck stops. Now I got a I, uh, my coworker, my trucker coworker on my Facebook page. Man, he be cooking up some good ass meals in his truck. He's cooking in the truck. That's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to cook my own meals. I'm gonna have to go to Walmart and get a week's worth of meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You gotta watch what you eat. You gotta keep the sodium intake down. So come on guys, come on. I know this is a lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. But it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be an obese, overweight lifestyle like some of us are out here. I see you guys out here. You guys are overweight. You guys are smoking. You guys are, are not moving. Y'all not doing nothing. Come on, y'all got to get up and do something. Let this be a motivation to you. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I am saying. When the doctor told me that I got diabetes and I got to take medicine now, medicine, I never had to take no medicine. I had to take medicine to control this stuff. If I can't control it, I got to get out of the business. And I don't want to do that. I am not trying to get out of the business. I'm trying to stay in it. I'm trying, this is my career. I'm trying to retire from it, even though, even though retiring 
it's probably might not be in the books for me. I do have responsibilities. I got, I got a light bill, gas bill. I got, I got the house to, to take care of. But see, another thing with that, that's that's part of my health. I am going to cut all stress out. I'm going to cut it all out. Stress. I, I'm not going to stress about nothing next year. Nothing. All my anxiety. All my all my stressfulness, all that came after 2015. But everything is working out now. Everything is working out a little bit better than what it was a couple of years ago. And I'm gonna make it happen. I gotta make it happen. Make it happen, drivers. Make it happen. Listen to what I am saying. I am sorry if 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 this uh, if this vlog is a little. It's a little bit longer than usual, but I just want you guys to understand. I want you guys to know. I want you guys to be here. We need to change our lifestyle. We got to make it healthier. We got to survive out here. I mean, think about it, man. I'm I'm 48 years old and I'm I'm at risk of a heart attack. I'm at risk of a stroke. Come on. I I'm 48. I'm still young. You know, I'm, I'm still young. So, listen, before I end this, come along with me and get committed. Just come along with me and get committed to fitness. Let's get committed together. Together, let's get committed. Let's start a conversation in the comments. Let's get committed together. Because when the doctor tell you to start checking your feet and make sure that your feet don't swell up because of because of uh, because of you're a diabetic, you, you better start listening. All right. This is lockout, man. Coming to you. All right. I want to see you guys out here. Y'all see me out in the streets. Holler at your boy. Give me a thumbs up. I'm not your average trucker on YouTube. All right. I'm drama free, baby. And let's make it happen. Let's get out here. Make some moves. Change your lifestyles. Change your habits. Let's do it. Let's do it together. All right? With that said, like, comment, share. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing because I drop jewels all the time.